Now we're going to talk about the Dish Network dual tuner box. This is a HD DVR with Dish Network. It's a 622. It's the same box as a 722. Different color, not as much hard drive. The dual tuner boxes all operate the same way. So I have TV1 remote and a TV2 remote. So the TV1 remote is a IR remote typically and the TV2 remote is a UHF remote. So the UHF remote talks to that box through an antenna either on the back of the box or moved into the TV2 location and we can get into that um, well now. Um, so the TV1's IR, meaning infrared, needs to have a direct line of sight to change the channels and it operates that way. So to the TV2 remote is uh, a UHF remote. So if we hit menu, the first thing to get to addressing this remote to that box or changing that is go menu 613 to system info and when you get to system info you will have um, TV1 and TV2 so here's channel out so and here is TV channel out 60 for uh, the TV2 location on this one. Sometimes it's 70. Um, also on TV2, if I change that channel to 62, because I enabled that, I can watch what's on TV1 from TV2. It gets complicated, but the remote address is one of 13 different addresses, and this one's set at 5. The remote address on the number one IR remote is set at one. They're all set at one by default. So if two neighbors next to each other both just get direct dish network service and they're both TV have dual tuner boxes, the TV2 remotes commonly will change each other's channel. So to, you have to make this TV2 remote uh, specific to your house, your TV2 by changing this remote address to a different channel. So we're going to change it from 5 to 2 and we do that by holding the satellite button down till they all light up. Then we're going to press 2 then we're going to press the pound sign flickers three times and I'm going to hit the record button. So I just hit the record button and it changed to 2. So now this remote is programmed to this box. If you have two dual tuner boxes in your house, when you do this, you need to go to the other dual tuner box or any dual tuner box with an antenna, take the antenna off or it'll change both of them to two and they'll both change each other's channel. And that's a common problem that people need to address here and there. So I'm going to now flip, pull my number one remote out and click done. And we're going to go into the modulator. So to further talk about the dual tuner TV2 setup, I'm on 60 air and 62 air for TV1 out. So at the TV2 location in the house upstairs, I can push 62 on the TV and I can watch this. I can't control it but I can watch it. I can then change my channel to 60 and watch whatever I want. Unless something's recording to that tuner then it will um, be right here. So right now the other thing that uh, commonly throws off the dual tuner box is the mode button. I didn't even realize it, but I'm in single mode. So in single mode, I can watch two things at the same time by hitting the picture-in-picture -picture button. 
I can make it bigger, I can make it side by side. Something I could cover on my uh, how to use the HD DVR. I can swap those two, I can swap them back, I can move this thing around. So to move it from single mode back to dual mode, I need to hit the mode button and it's in this door. And now I have TV2 lit and TV1 in dual mode. So now when I take the, before I run upstairs to make sure it works, I can take the TV2 remote and hit the big red button and that turns on and off. So I know it's controlling TV2 at this point. And how that works is through a UHF antenna. So if I flip this box around, I can explain how the wiring works a little bit. And we're going into some detail here that you might not need to know about. But you have a coax feed for TV2 out. All the way in the house and upstairs, the TV2 location doesn't get a good signal. So I've hooked uh, the antenna. This is where the antenna would go. A jumper from that and a jumper from the TV2 out into a splitter. And from this splitter, I've hooked it into this diplexer. Although commonly, now you're going to have a triplexer, which is these two combined into one uh, splitter looking thing. So this is a separator so that you get satellite one and satellite two. That's combined into a triplexer with the newer systems, so you don't need both of these. And then you're going to take the line out for TV2 off of this TV2 out, put it into the splitter, and in the other room, you're going to come from the wall into the splitter and from one of these to the TV and put the antenna right on the splitter. That moves the TV2 antenna into the room where TV2 is and then eliminates the problem of pointing it all over, trying to find the sweet spot, bouncing it off mirrors. Um, and here we got HDMI out. So this box doesn't have a coax out to this. And that is how to use the dual tuner box and change your remote address and how to move the TV2 antenna into TV2 and help uh, with the TV2 controls. And it also covers some of the problems with uh, the mode button. So sometimes people call me, it's on single mode and I'm changing the channel and TV1 and TV2 are changing each other's channel. Well, they're watching the same thing, that's why, because they're in single mode. So check to make sure you're in dual mode. And then if one of the other boxes in the room, in the house, is a dual tuner box, the two TV2s are controlling each other. That remote address is the issue, and you need to go through those steps. Or it could be a neighbor. So as you fix yours, they fix theirs, you fix yours, you're going to have that problem until someone takes their antenna off the back of their box while the other guy addresses his remote. That's uh, something I've never had to knock doors to find out. It, um, resolves itself. Um, you just have to address your remote and usually we don't have that problem. But that's the TV2 and how to address the remote and I hope that helps. I know that it's, uh, you know, it's easy to fix but until you know how to fix it, it's uh, the most frustrating thing in the world. So I hope that eliminates your frustration.